what is good y'all welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions it's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video we are about to be talking about what's next for Vader what you guys can expect because I ain't gonna lie the plan for this car has changed since my last like update video for you guys so let's go ahead and get like a semi cold but warm start for you guys one time i have driven the car today so it's not gonna be like the coldest start but it's just still you know, sound ferocious because it is vader so here we go to get this video started i ain't gonna lie i think you guys are gonna like this man sersky man so as you guys can tell we are in vader right now the ji galaxy isn't as bright when the windows are down um because you know it is kind of daytime but it is what it is let's just go ahead and get straight into this video because like i said earlier this is something that i know a lot of you guys is gonna enjoy um and a lot of you guys that are out there watching and trying to see like, oh, what does he have done to his car? What is he getting done to his car? To see if you want to race the car or not. Like, this is gonna be one of those videos for y'all. So we about to go ahead, hit the road, man. And I'm gonna get straight into this. Y'all already know we got to get a pull in every vlog. And a lot of y'all don't know what performance shift is, so. about to be within the coming months so as of right now bro the car is inching 7 8 speed engineering long tube catalyst headers ported lt2 intake manifold and lt1 stock throttle body and then a e85 flex fuel kit the tcm is still locked so we still are on the stock transmission tune the transmission has not been tuned yet just the ecu tune and that's it literally the most simplest botons that you can probably do to one of these cars and the car just works you know what i mean um it's not the fastest thing on the road it doesn't put down the fastest quarter mile times as you guys can see we still have full interior so it's not like you know what i'm saying a tin can with no carpet and stuff like that like we still got the carpet all of that um i'm not really into the grudge racing scene so like you know like, i don't really take like hiding time slips and, and hiding mods and stuff like that i don't take all that stuff serious like as you guys know but um to go into you know the fastest time that the car has been in the eighth mile um as of right now the fastest time in the eighth is a seven four and the fastest time in the quarter on the previous tune was an eleven seven um as of right now i haven't been able to get the car out to the quarter mile track solely because we no longer have a quarter mile track in my area um but i do plan to get the car out to a quarter mile track here in the future maybe in like the winter time when it's nice and cold and that drive would be worth it you know what i'm saying the car doesn't have to sit in the sun and heat soak and all that you know it'll be cold outside that e85 would really be helping out and you know the other modifications that i plan on doing so i guess that's a great segue to lead into what the other modifications i plan on doing are um so as you guys know like i just said we do have the lt2 intake manifold and the lt1 throttle body on the car however both are ported um so i was perfectly content with the lt2 intake manifold and throttle body however you know um 
as time goes by, you know, and people are able to do more vigorous testing, the numbers start to change, you know what I'm saying? So at first, it was thought that the LT2 and the ported MSD, a ported LT2 and a ported MSD were showing the same amount of horsepower gains. So there wasn't really no need to, you know what I'm saying, get the MSD when the LT2 is making the same amount of power for less money. Now, that's what, you know, people thought until it actually came out that um, the MSD actually makes a little bit more top-end peak power than the LT2 does. Now, as you guys already know, man, the Holly high ram has been goaded. It's already stamped, you know what I'm saying? That's like the go-to intake manifold when it comes to these cars. Now, that being said, bro, everybody goes Holly. Now, me personally, you guys know me, I like to be different. I don't like to build my cars how the next man built his car. You know what I'm saying? I like to build my cars to my liking. Like I was saying, I want LT2, you know what I'm saying, to be different and not to be like the next man. Now, that being said, bro, I can't lie. I think it's time to just go ahead and go Holly. So that being said, I am going to be switching up a couple things on the car. Like I told you guys earlier, the car does not have a trans tune. It's still on the stock stall converter. And then we still have the LT2 intake manifold and throttle body. So I am planning on switching from the LT2 intake manifold and uh, LT1 throttle body to intake manifold setup goes i think that's what i'm going to be going ahead and running and then i'm also going to be sending my tcm off to get it unlocked so that we can finally 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 give this car a transmission tune and really wake this thing up now um end goals with this car man a lot of people have been asking me like what's your end goal for real and at first you know i really wanted to just have a hands cam and a boosted setup with like a pro charger um but after talking with rk man i think we're gonna keep this build na as of right now and just go max effort like i'm talking about making upwards of 700 na like i'm talking about like yo talking about big boy numbers and hey i feel like at the end of the day man you know slapping a, a a power adder on the car and making those numbers is definitely you know dope don't get me wrong but i feel like making those numbers in a sorry that truck was trying to get over and i wasn't trying to have them like get over like while i was still sitting right there so we had to put the pedal to the metal a little bit there baby you know what i'm saying but anyway um, I feel like a NI, a NA car making those numbers is more like respectable than a boosted car, say making 750. Like if you say, oh yeah, my car makes 750 to the wheel. Of course, somebody's instantly gonna be like, oh, you supercharged or, you know what I'm saying? But if you say, oh nah, it's NA, naturally aspirated. They're gonna be like, bro, what? Like, are you spraying? No what for real like you know what i'm saying so like i don't know i feel like i feel like my boy rk is kind of like st steered me to the non-boosted side for sure but yeah y'all like i was saying i feel like it's just more respectable to make those numbers na than to make them boosted so i feel like as of right now bro i'm probably just gonna stay na and then at the lights, use the left two lanes to turn onto Chimney Rock Road. Appreciate that, Siri. Um, and so then, you know, run the NA game for a little bit, and then I think, you know, eventually we'll go like 427 with uh, F1A or uh, a D1X Pro Charger, the big boy. So as of right now, bro, we're probably going to just be staying NA and going crazy. So next up for the car stay tuned we're going holly high ram so if we're going holly high ram that means that that hood that we have on the car right now is no longer gonna work because i'm not about to cut that hood um so i am again again 
Again, looking for a Copo style carbon fiber Anderson composite hood. Um, but now the only difference is we have the ZL1 style Anderson composites hood. So that being said, I gotta get rid of this hood and find the new hood all in one. So if you know somebody who's A, interested in getting a carbon fiber hood for their 6 gen Camaro, or B, know somebody who has the Copo hood and wants to swap, bro, let me know in the DMs or drop it in the comments down below, man. For real, for real. Because I definitely need to get a new hood. For right now, I guess I'm just going to be running the car without a hood. You guys already know. Like, I barely drive this car anyway. So, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but the carbon fiber addict of me is like, bro, we need a carbon hood. Like, you know what I'm saying? We need a carbon hood. We need a carbon hood. We need a carbon hood. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I really don't. I really don't know. But, um, yeah. Like I said, if any of those two things applies to you, bro, drop them in the comment section down below for the kid for sure. Um, because it would definitely help your boy out. But like I said, bro, we're definitely going Holly and we're going Trans Tune. And I might be throwing something else at the car too. So just, you know, be on the lookout, man. Turn on post notifications. I know the uploads have been kind of scarce lately. Oh, got a little tunnel for y'all, man. Stay in the right to the right. You feel me? Onto Kemper Drive. Sounds so good, bro. It sounds so good, bro. Okay. It sounds so good. Now just imagine with that RK speed camshaft. Woo hoo hoo! Woo! Woo! Them poor and poly CNC heads. Woo hoo hoo hoo! She gonna be moving for sure. I'm talking about we're gonna be shifting like at 7,500 RPMs. If you look, like that's the whole RPM band. We're about to be shifting at 7,500 RPMs. It's about to get crazy for sure, for sure. I'm excited to turn this car up. Um, you know, we've been on this setup for about two years now. So it's definitely gonna be exciting to um, feel that new level of horsepower. Probably gonna make me fall back in love with this car all over again, no doubt. Yeah.